Hello dear students of class 5. Come, let's talk about the maths world. Students, tell me whether we can count the fluids. No, we can't, but we can measure the fluids. Dear students, you know how to measure the fluids? No, you don't. So come, let's learn how to measure the fluids and what is required to measure them. So let's start. Students, you must have seen a milkman using a measuring vessel called liter to measure the milk. And sometimes when we fall ill and visit a doctor, the doctor uses an injection to cure us. You know, the medicine inside an injection is measured in milliliters. So let us understand the relationship between liter and milliliter and learn to measure the fluids. See students, we are having a measure which is empty. And what is its capacity? It's 1800 milliliter. We can also call it 1 liter 800 milliliter. Now we'll fill the various liquids in it and we'll measure them and we'll also learn to write them in liters. Come, let's fill a liquid in it and find its capacity. First of all, we fill the liquid 1 liter 400 milliliter and how we can write it in liters? It's 1.400 liter. Students, We'll write liter before the decimal point and milliliter after the decimal point as liter is a higher measuring unit than milliliter. Come, let's do the first question. Find the amount of liquid in the following. See what's the amount of liquid here? It's 1 liter 800 milliliter. How we will write it in liters? We will write 1.800 liter. Now let's see the amount of liquid in this measure. It's 1 liter 500 milliliter. And how we will write it in decimal format? We'll write 1.500 liter. And in this measuring vessel, what's the amount? It's 1 liter 100 milliliter. And we'll write it in liters as 1.100 liter. Now, in question number 2, come let's color the following scales according to the given quantity. Students, do you like to fill the colors? Yes, ma'am. We like it. Come, let's fill the colors in these scales according to the given quantity. In part 1, the amount is 1.300 liter means 1 liter 300 milliliter. So first let's mark a horizontal line at 1 liter 300 milliliter and now let's fill the color in it. And even you have to fill the color in your books and notebooks according to the given quantity. So we'll fill the color up to 1.300 liter in the given scale. Now the next amount is 1.800 liter. So first we'll mark a horizontal line at 1.800 liter or 1800 milliliter. So from 1500 milliliter we'll count 1600, 1700 and 1800 milliliter. So up to here we'll fill the color. So we'll fill the color up to 1800 milliliter. And now the next amount is 1.100 liter. Come, now let's color it. So first we'll mark 1.100 liter. That's up to first subdivision after 1 liter. And we'll color it. We took 100 milliliter more after 1 liter. And we filled the color up to 1.100 liter. The next amount is 0 0.900 liter, means it's less than 1 liter. So we'll fill the color up to 9th subdivision indicating milliliter. See students, even you fill the color in your books and notebooks according to the given amount or quantity. Now 
the next scale to color is up to 1.400 liter see first we marked an indicated line up to 1.400 for that we counted four subdivisions after 1 liter and now we'll fill the colors up to 1 liter 400 milliliter so in this way we colored all the scales for the given amounts and now it's turn for question of the day from the given measuring units for measuring fluids which standard unit will be used a liter b kilogram c meter d none of the above yes it's option a liter so let's take the option a and now it's turn for your homework you have to understand and do question number one and two of exercise 6.3 in your notebooks bye bye students we'll meet in the next video